Hi, my name is Michelle Gerard, and today we are going to be using hundreds, tens, and ones in order to show how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide. And we are going to be using our base 10 sheet to help us guide along the way. I hope y'all enjoy the video. Okay, so the first math problem that we are going to do is 536 plus 187, and we are going to use combined sets. So first thing we're going to do is demonstrate the 536. So there's 100, 200, 300, 400, and 500. Next, we're going to do the 36. So that's 500. 510, 520, and 530. And finally is the ones. 31, 532, 533, 534, 535, and 536. So that is 536 units. Um, next we are going to combine the 187. So we're going to add 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 160, 170, 180, 181, 182, 183, 184, 185, 186, and 187. So, because we are adding, we are combining. So, we're going to start with the ones place and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And these 10 units are combined into one of these. So there is 10 units on one long. So we're going to take those ones and move them into one block of 10. And that leaves us with three units of one left. So we're going to write that down. Next, we have our tens place, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and 100. So these 10 sets of 10 is equal to one of these 100 blocks. So we're going to take those and transfer them over to this 100, and it leaves us with 30 left. So we're going to have a 3 right there. Oh, actually I miscounted. It should only be 20. Sorry. So there's our 20. And then... Finally, we are going to add up our 100. So 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, and 700. So, our answer is 723. Okay, so our next problem is 536 minus 187. So, it's the same problem that we just did, except for there's a minus sign now. And we are going to be taking away in order to do this. So, we're going to start out with our 500. So, 1, 2, 3... 4 and 5. So that's 500. There is 510, 520, and 530. And 1, 2, 3, 
thirty. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so this is five hundred and thirty-six laid out. So we want to take away one hundred and eighty-seven. So we're going to start with our ones place. However, we only have six units of one, so we can't take seven away because we don't have enough. So what we're going to do, we're going to move this 10 over to here. And that 10 is going to go breaking up into 10 smaller units of one. So I'm going to place them down here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine and ten so again this long right here has been broken up into smaller ones and put right here so now we can take away our seven so we're just going to remove them so one two three four five six and seven and that leaves us with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine ones left. Okay, so next we have to take away the 80. And we cannot do that because we only have two. So just like we did the ones, we are going to go to the neighboring place. And we're going to take this 100 and break it into 10 tens. So... This can be put right here. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So again, this cube right here, if I can grab it, was just broken up into ten smaller units of ten. And now we can take away our 80. So we're just going to take away 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And that leaves us with 4 left, or 40. And I'm sorry if you can hear the rain. It was not supposed to rain today, but it's being very loud. Um... Finally, we have to take our 100 away, and so we are just going to remove that. And so, we are left with 349. So, 536 minus 187 is 349. Okay, so for our third problem, we are doing 5 times 43. So, 5 times 43. And this is read as 5 sets of 43. So we are going to do 43 sets, or 43, five times. So we're going to start laying that out. Two, three, and four. So that's 40. And one, two, and three. So that is 43 one time. And now we have to repeat that five more times. So I'm going to get that laid out, and then we will... Or I will see you when we get that all on the board. Okay, so now I have five sets of 43. So there's 43, 43, 43, 43, and 43. And now we are just going to combine them. So all multiplication is is repeated addition. And so this is... It fully laid out, and now we're just going to add it. We're going to start in our ones place again. So we're going to make a group of 10. So sit 3, 6, 9, and 10. And those 10 cubes are going to be turned into a flat. And you're going to put that up there. And then that leaves us with 5 remaining in the ones place. And then we have to do our flats, or our tens. So there's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So these 10 
become one of these. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can't grab that one. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And those ten become another thing of a hundred. And we are left with one left. And now we have two of these. So our answer of 5 times 43 is 215. And it is important that we read the multiplication thing correctly and read it as 5 sets of 43 because 43 sets of 5, you would have 43 of these and that would be a lot. So it's very important. Okay, so finally we are going to be doing 942 divided by 4. And we're going to be partitioning. So partitioning means that we are breaking that amount into equal sets. And this time we're breaking the 942 into four equal sets. So later on I'm going to be using the sticky notes right here to define our four sets. Um, and see how many each set gets. But first I'm going to lay out the 942. Okay, so that is the 900, there's the 40, and there's the 2. There are four sets, and we're going to say each set is a person. So each sticky note is how many one person will get. And unlike all the other ones, we are actually going to be starting over here, and then going to tens and ones. So we're starting with the hundreds, and we are just going to start placing one in each until everyone gets the same amount. So everyone currently has 100. This is kind of like if you're dealing cards, you want everyone to have the same amount. So we have this extra 100. So everyone currently has $200 or 200 blocks. Um, so now we have this one left over. And just like we can take our 10s and turn it into a 100, we can also take a 100 and turn it into a 10. So, make sure I have enough. 3, 6, 10. So this 100 is going to be broken up into these 10s. So, 1, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I'm trying to keep them organized, but okay. And so now we are going to do just like we did with the hundreds. We are going to separate them into the different piles. So and each gonna get one. Then two, then three, and these two cannot be evenly separated into the four because there's only two of them. So this is 20 that we're going to put into the units of one because these can just be broken apart into ones. So I'm going to count out 20 cubes and put them over in here. Okay, so now our two tens have been separated into the smaller units and these are the two that we originally had in our problem. And I did move this sticky note over there because I need a little bit more room. And so just like we did with our hundreds and our tens, we are just going to be separating them into the equal piles. And I'm going to start off by doing it in units of two. So each person is going to get two instead of one, just to speed up the process. So those will get two. That one will get two. This one over here will get two. This one will get two. And then I'm going to do that again. So two, two, 
two. So now I'm just going to go by ones just to make sure that everyone gets the same amount. So one, 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 one. Okay. So now that I have them all evenly separated, I do have two left over. And this is going to be our remainder. So in order to find out how many each one got, we're just going to take one of these sticky notes and count. So there's 100, 200, 210, 220, 230, 234, or sorry, 230, 231, 232, 233, 234, and 235. With a remainder of two left over because these cannot be put evenly into any of them. So each sticky note should have 235 and then you should have just two lonesome little ones over here. So that is our answer, 235 with a remainder of two. Okay, so throughout the video, I hope you saw that using the base 10 blocks help show students how to visualize the problems that they are given. Um, so yeah, I will see y'all in class and have a good day.